In this video, we're going to actually learn about health and we're going to learn about harm. So let's imagine that when I touch, that I don't want to be able to touch these guys here, I could just make it restart the level or have some kind of drastic reaction. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to make it reduce the amount of health that I have. So the first thing that I need to do is in my player object, I'm going to set at the start of the game, so game start, and I'm going to go here, and I'm going to give them a full measure of health. The most they can have is 100%. So I'm going to give them the full 100. And then I'm going to say that when my player hits my enemy object, I'm going to do two things. One of them is actually already here. From I'm going to set health. I'll show you how I did that, actually. So let's just delete that. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to set health, but it's going to be relative this time. So they're going to lose 10, 10 points of health every time they hit it. And because if they just keep hitting it, they actually just keep losing health, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to bounce them back to the start of their level just so that they're not actually touching that um, again and again in the same instance from the one collision. So let's just set that in action real quick. Okay, there we go. So I go up, and in actual fact, we can't really... Oh, there you go. Well, we know that it worked because it sent it back to the start when it collided. But we can't see that loss of health. So what we're going to do is go to our projector object, oops, there it is, and make it draw, if it isn't already, and we're going to draw our health. So that's that one there. Now this is a little bit fiddly. You've actually got to tell it where to start. So I'm going to start it at 30 and 30. And I'm going to have it going to X, I don't know, 100, so that's how wide it's going to be, and Y, I don't know, 60. So you're actually kind of setting the top right and the bottom, sorry, the top left and the bottom right corners of it. You're saying what the background colour is. I'm going to make mine white. And you're saying what the colours are, because it can actually change colour as you go. Or you can just have it as one colour. So, let's see if this works. Okay, fantastic. So I've got my colour bar up there. Probably a little bit bigger than I need it. And every time I hit it, you'll see that I'm losing some health. So if you were doing, for instance, a maze game, rather than having a poisonous wall that just sent them all the way back to the start, you can have a poisonous wall that took away a little bit of their health every time they hit it, so that they can afford to hit it, but they just can't afford to hit it very often. And you can, of course, take away as much health as you want. So you can kind of give them a few chances. So now, how do we turn this into a serious consequence? Well, we're going to go into when the player hits the enemy object, or whatever it is, the, the bad thing that we want to happen. And as well as jumping to the starting position, what I'm going to say, and I'm just going to do a quick test here, I'm going to test my health. So where's that there? So I'm going to set it to that. And if it is less than one, so in other words, if they run out, and I'm going to say less than one rather than zero, because they might actually get a health of less than zero. Not sure if that's a thing, but let's find out. Then I'm going to put my brackets in and say, well, if all of that happens, then I want you to, oh, I don't know, restart the game or restart the level or whatever it is that I want my serious consequence to be. Let's just have a look. I feel like I keep clicking past it here. There it is. So if they get below zero, I reset the game. Else, I just go to the starting position. So if we see that in action... I should be able to damage my health for a while, and then once I damage it too much, then it should kick me back to the start. So let's see if this works. Okay, fantastic. So, and damage, and damage. It's going to take me 10 tries to do this, but that's okay. Uh, so chipping away at my damage, you can see that that color's changing there because I'm on that color bar. And that's not a bad little indicator for the player. Again, my bar is probably a little bit big there, but that's okay too. So there we go. We're now into the serious orange. I suspect we're about to go red. Yep. And this is probably when we'll go, oh no, proper red. And now you'll notice that I'm actually back at the start of the game again. You'd probably work better if you put sounds in here just to give them a quick clue that they're actually suffering a consequence. I hope that's useful to you.